So now where are we going? Let's go with mascara, what I've been using. Now my favorite mascara that I've been using is this e.l.f. one. Oh my God, listen. When I have this on my eyelashes, oh my God. Like I don't use and I don't wear fake eyelashes. I don't think that it's too extra. I just don't know how to apply it. So I usually stick with mascaras that gives me that long vibe. Plus I think I have a little bit of, um, yeah, I think I have a little bit of eyelashes, right? <laughs> I think so. So, but this one is a really, really good. Okay, guys, this one is the one that gives you really a long, very, very long mascara. So let me show you the tip so you could, you know, for the people who might just want to purchase it. It's this one. Sorry. I feel like I'm so far away from you guys. So it's this one, and let me show you the tip. It's really the bomb. I haven't, you, this is the tip right here. Okay, can you see it? Okay, all right. This is the tip. So I like it. You know, for those of you who already have natural long lashes, I mean, I, I don't know, to each his own. I don't like to tell people what to do when it comes to their own personal stuff. Um, stuff but you know sometimes you don't have to really go the extra mile instead of doing the um the eyelashes maybe you just might want to try on voluminous mascara okay so this one i actually been wearing this in haiti and i bought it at tj maxx and it is um beauty concept and it is drama lash i'm not dramatic my lashes are it is a 3x Lint mascara. I like this. I really like this. This is what I've been using since I've been here I don't have any allergy from it. It doesn't give me any red eye You know, I wear I wear it sometimes for four to um, five hours. It's okay You know, I really really like it and this is how the tip is You know and I purchased this for Two dollars at TJ Maxx. Yes in a budget boo boo in a budget so what else am I going to be talking to you about? Now I'm going to be talking to you about this product. This is the NYX. It is the concealer. I really, really like this. Now I've been using it as a base for my eyeshadow. I have a primer, okay? I just use this and it's working. It's been working. I really, really like it. And I use it also to clean my makeup when I'm done. I use it as um, a little bit of my, conce uh, my concealer, my highlighter, I mean. So I really like this. I mean, it's a, it's a cream base. It's really, you see how it's almost done because I've been using it a lot when I do my videos for you guys. But I will definitely purchase this. I mean, it does let my eyeshadow stick. It doesn't move. It doesn't crisp. It doesn't do any of that. So this is perfect. I can't recall how much I paid for this, but it's, it was pretty much affordable. Okay. So as we are talking about concealer, let us go with this concealer. I've never used the LA Girl concealer, not for any particular reason, but this one is the HD concealer coverage this is the concealer that i've prior to me purchasing the nyx this is the concealer that i've been using i purchased this at my local um beauty supply store now between this and this i prefer this i prefer this because it's lighter i prefer this because it just gives me better but this excuse me guys um this i use for to clean my bra okay Yes, this is what I use. So you still see that it's pretty much a, a very big tool because I don't use a lot. I just use very, very little. Now let's talk about, I only have one brush that I wanted to mention to you. Obviously you could see if you paid attention to the videos, I'm getting a hang of blending my makeup and I have to attribute this with different brushes that I've purchased. Still very affordable brush. So this is a, this is a brush that I've um, purchased. And this, I purchased um, this together with another one, but I prefer this from my dollar store. It's a very pointy brush. Let me see if I can find the name for you guys. Oh, it's half of it is erased already. It's like something professional. And uh, oh my God, when I tell you that I love this brush, okay. <sighs> mm. Family dollar. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so now black radius again. Now I usually use, um, always use pencil 
liquid or just a regular pencil when it comes to like to do my wing but i wanted to try something a little different and i went in and i purchased this which is the cream one you know this is what i've been using i like it because after i put my setting spray it doesn't move it doesn't bulge you know so it's just pretty nice you know but you it took me a few to get the hang of it but yeah it's pretty it's okay you know it can be kind of messy though look oh it can be a little messy so yeah but i do use it as far as like pressed powder i don't have my favorite pressed powder at the moment because it's completely done it is the nyx translucent powder i remember i went to the mall and i wanted to get me the laura mercy powder and they didn't have the simple um, um the simple and i didn't want to use a big one so i went ahead and i got the nyx i love the nyx why because the one that is white because sometimes when I use the, for example, if I'm using my Black Radiance, you know, this one, um, foundation, and, you know, the base is red, right? If I set my makeup, then it gets me a little bit more red, and I hate that. And I realize that putting in the um, Black Radiance with everything just like completely it just controls the entire color so i don't have it because it was gone be before a month okay so this one is the max studio fix and the number is erase but i had this for two to three years and i purchased this here in haiti and um this is what I use when I'm completely done with my makeup and when I want to um, set my makeup. And sometimes, you know, if, I, if I'm doing my video and I feel like I'm a little oily like now. I should do this. Okay. And this is a regular brush. You know, I didn't intend to show you guys this. It's usually next to me um, to, um, you know, if I want to like my little oil and my last powder is on um, my fashion fair let's see it is a fashion fair true finish powder and it is SPF 15 and this is espresso now this is darker than me but I love this I use this for a little bit of contour however I'm a dramatic person so I prefer the black radiance the darkest shade for my contour especially now that i'm warming up so it gives me like a very subtle contour it doesn't really give me a harsh contour and to me i always feel like people but i love to keep it because sometimes when i have foundation that are either too light or i have foundation that needs to be warmed up i use this powder and i bronze my face with it and it gives me a beautiful nice and finished tone i, I hope you guys will like this video and i hope you guys will appreciate me coming in and sharing with you the product i am not a makeup guru i am not an mua but you know i feel like you know this may just help people someone Hopefully. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you in the next.